Hello everybody and welcome back to some Fiend Folio. We are jumping in again. This time I've decided I'm going to play Golium, wherever the hell he is. Golem on Greedia. I haven't played Greedia in ages and people have been asking me to play it. And I have just remembered that I don't have any of my Greedia mode mods installed. So, be right back. Okay, we are back. Let's go. We have our mods installed. Now we can get different special rooms and all sorts of stuff. But we are playing as this man, the Golemancer, the Golem boy. Just because, I don't know, I think Golem could be really fun. Um, we're able to buy trinkets, as you can see in here. And, of course, we have this area down here. Also, new restock machine skin. Looking awesome. Oh, that could be so valuable. It could also be terrible, but it could be so valuable. I'm pretty hyped to try that out. Anyways, um, ooh, ooh, hoo, 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 they upgraded it to actually have names so I know what the fuck everything is. My god, that's amazing. But, I've woken up today in a really, like, energetic mood, and I do not know why. Each room has a chance for the Thunder Egg to crack, um, opening into a rare or fiendish rock. I mean, considering we don't really do rooms, that seems terrible. Uh, but, yeah. Um, so... Is it this one we can grind for free? Constantly sucks in pickups, also works when dropped. I don't know if that's gonna work. Uh, anyways. Oh, hello. So that sucks in this. And then the other one here. I'm gonna crush this. I guess I'll carry this. Anyways, let's see how this goes. This this could be good, it might not be. Um, does it suck in pit? Oh, it does it through walls. Hell yes. Oh my lord. Okay, this was um this was pretty awesome. So we're already starting off pretty well here. I'm gonna take both of these. Um what we got here. You now leave a trail of stationary tears while you move damage uh, scales frequently. Scales with your um, max fire rate to mm, That could be interesting. Let's uh, let's quickly go and um, get rid of this one. Nope, this one. I just doubt that one being very useful. Then let's come back over here and we'll grab this. <clears throat> And I'll grab this as well. Put this in a decent spot. Well, this was a good start. This was a very good start. We didn't get a key there, but goddamn, I didn't think it'd pull things over walls. And my god, am I glad that it does. Also, something to think about. Something to think about indeed. I have absolutely zero idea um, if Fiend Folio has greedier mode waves, but one thing I may have accidentally done, and I apologize for this, is I, um, I installed my rebalanced greedier mode mod, which changes all the waves, which might overwrite Fiend Folio. No, it doesn't. Good. Thank godness. Thank godness. That is not a word that has been said. Thank godness. I'm just gonna keep saying it until it makes sense. But anyways, yeah. I don't know what's going on, but I'm in, like, like, I haven't had caffeine in literal weeks, and maybe I've just, like, hit hit the the caffeine, like, I've underflowed my caffeine. Because now I'm, like, super energetic, and I have absolutely no idea why. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with, I've underflowed my amount of caffeine. This is, uh, getting kind of tricky. Ooh, hello. Also, being able to sucking pennies, it's not super useful, but it is kind of nice. We also need to remember that if we want to, we can drop this trinket, and it'll still function. Let's try and take out you before you create a bunch of stuff. But the, the Fiend Folio waves don't seem all that bad, to be honest. And honestly, the Trail of Tears right now is pretty darn useful. Just because they hang around for a little bit, and enemies are walking into them. It's kind of like having creep in a way. And also, our fire out right now is pretty amazing. We're going to buy a key after this. See how it goes, but I am, yeah, I'm really, really enjoying greed mode right now. And I'm just enjoying life. It's very early in the morning, at least recording-wise for me. It's half past nine, which obviously isn't very early in regard to, like, normal life. But for recording, that is very early for me, because I, I very, very rarely record before lunch. So, anyways, um, come in here. Sump is kind of interesting, actually. Sump is kind of interesting. Um, what's this? 25%, uh, 25 plus 2.5% look, uh, chance of 10 pickups into their doubled equivalent. 
Oh, damn, that could be amazing. That because that could mean we get a lot more money in the in the long term. I know our sucky power is really good, but I might I might get rid of it for this. Let's uh let's come down here. The sucky power saved us early on. Let's um let's get rid of it for now. And then go and get that, because I think that could be insanely good. I'd love to keep the sucking ability, but honestly, this seems really good. Um Okay, so we can create a few clotties like this. Oh, hello. Yeah, I forgot I had the champion resprite mod on. Uh, well, not the champion, but the boss resprite for greedy emerge. Looks really good. Okay, you can't suck back up the, uh, the fellas with this, can you? You're just kind of stuck with them out there. I really should focus on the... Uh, Monstro that I've already got half dead. Which, he isn't actually dying very fast at all. He, he might be like the champion version. Also, the double penny pickups is working. So, already this is paying for itself. Which is really, really nice. Yeah, I don't know how much I'm going to end up using some, but I'll, I'll, I'll use it a little bit here and there for a little bit of extra damage. This hasn't been too hard of a kill there, has it? And if we, we if we can get luck from anywhere, then we want to make sure we pick up luck upgrades. Oh, hello. This is a champion version of you that I do not recognize. Also, the music has really kicked up a notch, and I like that. I don't know if this is a Fiend Folio champion or a regular champion uh, from the uh, boss champions mod. I have no idea. Or it might be from Reworked Furs. We've got a lot of mods that add different champions now. It's hard to know what's what. Anyways, Devil Deal will most certainly be leaving by the wayside here. Um, grants a damage up and the player's movement slowly shifts about randomly with another geode, increased damage and movement. We'll at least go back and take that. It's a little annoying that there isn't a, a hatch there. Oh god, yeah, that movement's terrible. I hate that. We'll just crush that down. Yeah, that movement's awful. Like That is a pretty subs uh, substantial damage up. But, ain't no way I'm sticking with that right now. Oh, uh, also, we'll take this because it's doubled keys. Why not? It's literally just cheaper. I didn't think about the fact that it might work in that scenario. Uh, so, we'll grab this. Go down to the next floor. So far, enjoying the hell out of this. Enjoying the hell out of this. Right. Oh, we got a planetarium already, which is um, insane. And we got Neptunus. Very nice. I like that. Marbles is really good, um, because we can gulp our trinkets right there sometimes. Every fourth shot becomes a double damage bloody tier. Uh, standing still near pickups re-rolls it every three seconds, and any individual pickup can only be rolled. Oh, that seems insane. Chance to fire a bugger tier. Bugger tier's getting slowing if holding another geode. Okay. <laughs> Leprosy is what it is, whatever. Okay, so there is a there is a thingy here, tinted rock. We'll bomb that. Hey, against bosses, that's really good. Okay, so first things first, let's um, actually let's ooh the spindle. I don't know how good the spindle actually would be for us to be honest. This is a worthwhile room here. Remember, these enemies are a bit different now. I'm liking Neptunus a hell of a lot here. Especially with uh, our little buddies. Oh, you bugger. I stood right in front of that. And now that was a full heart damage as well. It lost us my... It lost me my clots as well. That was all around just terrible by me there. Just terrible. Right. I quickly want to try... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this. It's a risk, but... Eh. What in the heck? What in the heck? Right, uh, we'll take the double penny, and then I want to quickly go try a few things. For one, let's hop in here and hop down. We do have this guy, so we definitely want the, this one smelting onto us. This one's kind of like so so. Right, then let's come back over here. I just want to try something, so let's see how this works. 
Because this seems like it could be insane on um, greed mode. So we stand still. And it does indeed re-roll them. Okay. So what, I think once we stop moving, it won't re-roll them again. Oh no, it will. It will. Another key. We'll take the bomb as well. Why not? Nice. Um, spawns a disc when entering a bot room. So we don't enter bot rooms on this. I don't know how that would work. I really don't know how that would work. Anyways. So far, so heckin' good. It's good we don't have the sucky thing now. Because we, we uh, want to keep the pennies on the floor so we can re-roll them. Ooh, we need to kill that big thing. Whoa, okay, that big thing spawned a bunch of bubbles and immediately just dropped my frame right by a ton. Okay, we, I think we got the big boy. No, we didn't. God damn, the big boy's strong. What the hell hit me then? Was it? Oh, it's one of the bubble tiers, I think. The bubble popped. Okay, this is getting a little bit tricky now. I'm, only because I'm self-inflicting some harm on myself by not wanting to pick up any of the coins yet. That is partially one of the big reasons it's so tricky. And I'm not using sump because my health isn't very good. I should probably just use sump, but... I'm adverse to doing so right now. Okay. These guys ain't too bad. This floor's kind of slowed down a little bit. But I think overall we're doing decent. Still need some luck upgrades if we can get them. Oh my lord, if I could stop taking such bad damage. Ooh, I smelted both my trinkets though. Awesome. Thank you, marbles. That saves us a bunch of HP. These enemies are really tricky, so let's stay the hell away from them. We'll do the bouncy shots. Okay, so... We've got good money. Uh, we'll take the doubled, and then we stand right here and try, try and re-roll as much as we can. We didn't get anything great there. Re-roll again, please. Yeah, I think you have to continually stand still next to the ones you want to re-roll, otherwise they stop re-rolling. Right, so we see what the re-roll is. Good, we'll take all of that. Keys aren't super useful for us right now, so we stand still. Do you re-roll again? I'm not really sure how this works. It said that each consumable can re-roll up to three times. That's clearly not true. I'm confused. <laughs> Clearly not, well, not what's happening here. Anyways, we'll take both of these. Uh, we'll do one of them. Hello, Greed. I'm liking my bugger tears here. Well, hello, you. Yeah, we are firing a good amount of bugger tears, actually. I didn't think it'd be so many. I mean, we have really good fire rate with... Uh, our planetarium items well. Look at all these doubled coins. So good. What we got here then? Oh god, the super speed ones. Just take care of one first. You didn't even get a chance to spawn a single spider. That's beautiful. Let's get in with as many of these as we can. Huzzah! That was easy. And we get our angel deal. Awesome. We get some good hearts here. Um, when depleted rerolls, passively grant a shop discount while held. That's fantastic. Um, hitbox size reduced. Gain uh, grants damage for the uh, for the current room for narrowly avoiding a projectile. Okay. Decent. Okay, let's just check our shop real quick. There's nothing really here we want. I'm not going to bother messing around with this shop. 
See what our trinket ends up being. Periodically fire um, a pulse that either fears, poisons, or confuses nearby enemies. I am going to go and smell at least one of these trinkets, because I think we have the health to do so now. And I think... Yeah, I think this one's the one we want to smelt right now. And then we'll keep the other the other uh, trinket over there. Let's make our way back down. Things are going beautifully so far, though. This reroll thing's interesting. It's not as good as I thought it'd be, but it's still decent. The radius on it makes it a little hard to use. A case of creation going on. On taking damage, we have a large amount of tears uh, that leave creep. Decent. And Cuba meat, which is just awful. There you go. I mean, block block projectiles at least. Hey, so here's some slightly cheaper things here. Um, but there's also one of these that we'll try to uh, check out. Sadly, not very good. Grab Binky there. Cracker Jacks would spawn a trinket and give us. Uh, yeah, it's probably worth it for the the, the HP as well. Entering um the breaking. Oh, it rerolled it because I was stood still. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> that was very dumb of me. Whoops. Um, this is a luck upgrade, but I really still don't think that's worth it. Let's try and re-rub some better here. I realize the D100's there, but I'm not D100ing right now. What the heck? Um, Peach Creep. Wall Creep Familiar that tries to line up with the enemies and shoots best of tears. Um, eh. I'll take this. It's more HP. More HP just means uh, more ability to use Sump, which is obviously going to be very, very good for us. Oh, damn. I literally didn't realize that was a Brimstone one there. And holy shit. When we get hit, we leave tears that leave creep. Damn right we do. Holy hell. Didn't realize it'd be quite that many. Du -du -du. Oh, you made me press the button, you asshole. What a dick move. You farted me onto the button. What a dick move. Enemies that hover over rocks are the worst. Yeah, Fiend Folio is pretty fun for uh, Greed Mode, to be honest. I'm liking it. Oh god, there's so many enemies there. Stop with all the spam. Okay, let's just keep her going while we've got a clot available. I wish the clot would stay closer to me, because at the minute it's just not, and it's annoying. Wow, you died fast. And then we got war here? Yeah. This war shouldn't be too bad at all. You're recreating the skulls over there. I wish he'd stay still for like a hot minute. Really? You create one of them? No, thank you. Okay, there you go. You're in your face where we can actually do something about you now. You killed my clot, though. How dare you? We lost our miser heart, which is slightly annoying because that was kind of helping quite a lot. I'm going to take these items because they're cheap. It was worth it. Sadly, we are one penny. A single penny. Oh, there's another one of these shops here. I didn't even see that. Damn it. We're one penny off of this, which I don't think we're going to be able to get a penny now. Holy, I always forget how much more difficult Envy is with the, the rework. Like, he bounces off of each other with, like, high velocity now, and it's, it's kind of crazy. I don't know if I asked a question of the day today. If I didn't... What's the most excited you've been about something recently? That's my question of the day. I know it's really late into the video, so I apologize. But I honestly can't remember if I asked one or not yet. And I apologize if that's the case. Angel deal again, beautiful. Sacred orb. Hell yes. Also a lot of money. And um, start each combat with one dexterity. That seems useless for us right now. 
Uh, I guess I could just go grind it. Let's go grind it. Oh, we got enough for uh, Jesus juice as well. Nice. Right. Oh, we also didn't even come down here this floor. We got one of them as well. Taking damage spawns a Purgatory Ghost. Eh, that's not very good for us. Um... Thank you. We also got a Zealot Heart out of that. Awesome. Also, someone kept getting annoyed at me for bombing those statues. I have literally no idea what they do other than bombing them. Please enlighten me, because I have literally no idea what they do. I thought they were supposed to be bombed. I thought there was the whole point in them. Um, ooh, that's decent enough. We'll take that. Did we get the same thing again? <laughs> we did. We got the exact same one again there. We got a sacrifice room in here. Not super useful. Lump of coal is always decent. I, will, I, I probably want to go for more rerolls though, just because um, we... Watch out. Oh, damn it. That didn't work. Uh, go for more rerolls though, just because we um, have Sacred Orb. Seems like the smart thing to do. Uh, did an enemy spawn on me there? I don't know. I'm not quite sure what happened then. Okay. I was like, what the hell's that thing in the corner? Then I realized it's just Blue Baby's only friend. I'm sorry, dude. Didn't mean to leave you like that. Thank you, Clutch. You can use the High Priestess. I didn't see that coming. You bitch. Also, god damn it, Clots. Just stay stuck to me, please. Holy hell, that's a lot of cards. She was going off on one then. We didn't get any alt path flaws. I do have the alt path mod installed. We haven't had any alt path flaws yet, though. Right. Um, yeah, let's 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 roll past lump of coal. Ooh, um, that's really good. We'll take that. <clears throat> Y'all going down pretty quick. Good stuff. Oh, skull X Y. Why would you? Put this fear on me. Ooh, he's like made of blood bags. That's pretty cool. I like that. The reskin of him is really good. That's pretty awesome. Go straight into the double monster 2 fight. Shouldn't be too bad. Depends how much they jump around, really, and how much they brimstone in tandem. Like that. That's problem I. My god, this item that makes me spew out tears is like amazing, but also a bit laggy. Well, it's not the item itself that's laggy, but you know what I mean. Sensor. It's good stuff. Right, was there anything else in here we wanted? There is odd mushroom. I'm going to say no to that though. I'm going to keep going. Also, can I maybe get a clutch shot on you? Oh, uh, we don't have clutch anymore. Okay, fair enough. Right, down we go. We got plus six damage that decays over time. Um, I think that's worth it. I'm going to trade in my, uh, my one that does the blasts. What's my thingy over here this time? We do have a smelty one. Um, let's smelt this onto us. And let's um, chomp this one down. Good, good. I'm going to pick up the other one. I think that's more conducive to our success. Yeah, that's decent. It's not like a ton of damage, but it's, it's going to be pretty good for at least a floor. 
Oh, we got the corpse this time around. Um, I think I'll take... Oh, Spoonbender, hell yes. Latchkey I'm going to take. Um, ended up being the better choice because I, I wanted the look. Check this out. That's the look as well. We'll take that. And that's fire rates. So we'll take that. We might be a fire rate cap. We are a fire rate cap. Okay. It did give us a trinket though. Um, chance to fire God's Flesh. Oh, okay, that's not very good. Shrinks the player when crushed. Oh, that's that's kind of cool. Um, again, I've completely forgotten which one crushed us at this point. But we'll find out, I guess. So what the hell does this thing... Does this thing do anything? Like, yeah. People are like, don't destroy this. Don't destroy this. It doesn't do anything. What's it meant to do? I'm just going to blow it up. Heals two hearts at the start of each floor, sleeping to bad cunts, two extra soul hearts. That's decent. Um, I think this is crushed. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> Whatever. It said it at the start, I still can't remember. Right, anyways, with Spoonbender now, this is going to be pretty awesome. I have no idea if the this will have um, Fiend Folio enemies because it's like another mod. I don't know if they added compatibility for this other mod. Probably not. But they might have done. There's a chance. So far, I'm guessing not. Getting a lot of champions here. A lot of champions. Ah, what the hell? That was a very quick few waves there. Oh, we got a golden dude here. Can he turn anything into gold? I can never remember. Yes, he can. Okay, very good to try and keep him alive. I can't really tell when these enemies hands are gold, though, because they already look like gold. Right. Anything we want in the shop now. Squeezy's pretty good, but we don't need the soul hearts for anything. Let's just do a bit of re-rolling here. Not very good. This would give us spun, I think. Indeed it did. Awesome. Occasionally burn nearby enemies, um, when grinded smelts your other trinkets. We don't have anything we need to smelt right now, which is a bit of a shame. Okay, angel deal, here we come. Uh, duplicates every familiar the player ha earns. Familiars grabbed after picking up will also be duplicated. Decent. Double sensor. Double cube of meat. Why not? So I guess we could buy this. See what we get and then... Chance to not destroy a rock upon crushing another held geode. So... I don't know, I'm going to keep both of these, I think. Both of these seem better than my other two, and I don't need to thingy smash my other two, because I, I just don't need to. Um, We also got this. Ooh, a free hug. Thank you. We don't need that right now. Anyways, let's go down to the next floor. This run's come together quite nicely, hasn't it? Oh, hello there. We've got the school bag. Not much else we need. I don't know what this floor will include. There's so many of these upside down boot remember dudes. I can't speak. Okay. Okay, there is some um Fiend Folia enemies in here. Ooh, the uh, the 
Champion version of that guy looks awesome. Don't you dare kill my golden boy. It's so much extra money from these dudes. I don't even know what to buy. What is there to buy? I do not know. Um, I guess we reroll. Both of these aren't very good for us. Chaos could be fun. Tier games always a blast. Play-Doh cookies also really fun. We'll definitely get that next. Right. There's one underground right next to me. Yep. Yeah, tier games always an absolute blast. It can really mess you up, but I love it. I'm loving this duplicating money thing as well. It's been super useful. Definitely take that. Then we can take one more. I guess we just take the damage. What's that we got? Okay, we don't really need that. We'll check the devil deal. Actually pretty good. Okay. I think we're out. 50% chance for enemies to drop temporary pennies on death. That would have been really good to get earlier on. And I think right now we might as well just hold that. Got a crawl space here as well. Which actually leads to a crawl space, I think. Oh no, just wow factor. I don't want wow factor. That item is strange. And then down to the next floor. Let's go. So far, so good. Oh my god, we got loads of mini explosions there. Okay. Um, there is actually one of these down here. We could potentially get something. See, so like, what the hell are you? Um, you gave me the same one back and then two more. Interesting. Transfer spectral and piercing. Ooh, we'll definitely take that. And we got... Damage you up and shot speed up when near fire. If holding another geode, tears inflict burn. Okay, we don't need that. Um, so let's put that one in here. This one I'm going to... Uh, sorry, this one even. I'm going to grind up a little bit. Try and get something new. Plus four luck. Oh, that's, that's pretty amazing. Okay, so we'll take that and that. And I think we're good to go. I think, that, I think they were really good gets there. Plus four luck is going to be insane for the, the the things that we've got going on right now. Right. Like, lots and lots of piercing. Lots and lots of hands coming up and hitting this guy. Lots and lots of bugger tears. Lots and lots of doubled pennies. Not that we need those anymore, but still. I'm not going to use Sump too much because we will probably lose them pretty fast. But I do want to use it every now and again. God damn, Pluto Cookie's doing a good job as well. You can see our tiers changing with tier game every time we get a kill as well. We dropped them all up top, what the hell? I think we managed to kill every single one of them, then. Awesome. Keys again. Did you not? Oh, I did get one of them. Oh, no, he didn't. It, it made the door opening sound, but a door never opened. Strange. Okay, this one's just regular pennies. Regular pennies are easy peasy. The amount of bugger tears in this man. Are the bugger tears expiring at all? Like the normal ones do. It doesn't seem like they are. It seems like they're just stacking over and over. I haven't seen one disappear yet. Oh, what the hell? We got a bunch of, uh, bunch of runes down there. Yeah, they seem to just be completely stacked on him and not, not, oh no, no, they, they, a few of them did just disappear then. 
That would be pretty overpowered if they didn't disappear like they used to. Okay. First phase done pretty darn easily. Okay, do gotta be careful. This phase is significantly easier in terms of his health, but he can do damage to us way easier though. Be careful he doesn't come and grab all this money. There's a nickel there that he's going to go jump for. Nope, he's not. He's going to jump at me. Didn't expect that. How many more little dudes do we have at the minute? I don't even know. I'm going to keep producing them just in case. As you can see, yeah, this second phase has way less health. It's either way less health or way less boss armor. I'm not entirely sure which of the two it is. Why are my clocks all the way over there? Stay near me. God damn, it's so frustrating. Stop buggering off wherever the hell you want. Look at this, they're all like nowhere near me. Just stay on me. Anyways, this guy is dead. That was a really fun run. Really fun run indeed. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. And if you want to see more greedier mode, do let me know. Because I'll definitely be up for it. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.